What's up guys, Meow and I'm back with another video today. Got another NASCAR Diecast review to do today. Um, and once again, uh, you'll you already be able to tell which one I'm talking about here when I say this, but once again, as far as the comments go, keep it civil. Not here to talk politics, just here to review a Diecast. That's the bottom line. Y'all have done pretty good so far, so here we go with the next one. Kyle Weatherman's 2020 uh, Back to Blue Darlington Throwback for Mike Harmon Racing. And I gotta say, again, we've gotten three Mike Harmon Racing diecast release so far. Two for Kyle Weatherman, one for uh, for Joe Nemechek. And uh, recently, uh, there was one that got put up for pre-order for Bailey Curry, uh, the 74 car. They, they, or he actually announced recently um, that uh, the MLQ for that actually has already been met or close to that or, or whatever. They've, they've gotten whatever status they need to get to to get that die cast made. I'm not sure if they, if it was just the 124 or both scales, we will find out probably soon enough. Uh, so expect that car to come out in the coming months. But again, um, in terms of, you know, just die casts, no matter what, it's awesome to see that we're getting small team diecast. And it seems like with uh, towards the tail end of the 2020 Gold Series releases, even though we're still getting 2020 diecasts, and with a lot of the, die, the 2021 diecasts that have been offered so far, we're getting more and more uh, small team diecasts. Obviously, you have the Jennifer Jo Cobb truck that got put up for pre-order. We've seen a couple of Todd Gilliland trucks get put up. Um... Uh, Daniel Suarez and his Camping World scheme for, for Trackhouse uh, in the Cup Series got put up for pre-order recently. Uh, Jeffrey Earnhardt got one put up for pre-order recently. Um, I'm trying to think. You're Stefan Parsons in the Dogecoin car, which if you missed out on the on the first, the original Dogecoin car that got released as a diecast, um, yeah, you might want to pre-order that one. <laughs> the aforementioned Bailey Curry car and, and some other ones. And I'm happy to see that, honestly. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get the diecast out of the box and get on with the review. But again, I'm happy to see more small team diecasts get offered at the very least. And I hope, and my personal hope, is that we see more of them not only get offered, but get made. It's one thing to get offered, but it's another thing to get made. So anyway, here's the diecast out of the box. And of course, loose, wind, loose windshield, go figure. Um, honestly though, I will say this, regardless of what's on the card, the paint scheme looks pretty solid. I, be I believe this is a throwback to like an actual cop car of some sort. Um, I forget exactly what it's a throwback to, but regardless, uh, I think it's pretty cool. Um, hey, they got the, uh, that, the, uh, the Char Charlie Daniels and the Journey Home Project on the back bumper. Or on the back deck lid. That that's pretty cool to see uh, to see again. Um, so if I may be honest here, um, you know, with Mike Harmon Racing, look, whatever you want to say about you know the political side of things, and I I don't have the heart in me to be like one of those people that wants to cheer these guys on to wreck because you know I've seen people do that. I've you know I've seen people do that. Um, obviously, people will shit on the scheme or the or the team because of the political affiliations but look you know for what it's worth Kyle Weatherman's had some solid runs at times uh this year and in the past and um you know he's not necessarily a total back marker where he gets in the way but you know he's also not necessarily a contender he's just one of those guys where he's good and he's good enough to get you in the equipment that he has right now with my car and racing in that level of equipment, he's good enough to get you a top 30, like a top 30, you know, finish, probably at best, maybe borderline top 25, um, if, you know, if, if on a good day, but he's not, but he's more often than not, as long as the car doesn't have issues of some sort, as we've seen here and there so far this season and last, um, he's, he'll give you a solid performance. Yeah, he'll probably finish a couple laps down. But he's not like a he's not like a Rick Ware type. He he's more so of a guy that you know he can hold his own, but you're not expecting him to win right now. Um, 
but he's young, um, you know, weatherman that is, and we'll see what happens with his career. Um, but yeah, so as far as the paint scheme goes, all things considered, uh, it's an all right paint scheme. Just um, you know, the the gold and uh, the gold black and white. It, this kind of looks weird, but uh, you know, the the white spot with the black. I mean, again. I think it's a throwback to like an actual police car, so I guess that makes sense. But uh, at the same time, it just it looks weird. Um, but uh, yeah, what one is this here? What's that? Some little decal next to his. Uh... Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Uh, so it says Officer Weatherman on the on the name rail. I be now. All right. I think this is a throwback either to his dad or his grandfather, who must have been a cop at one point, which, okay, then that makes a ton more sense. Um, uh, my grandfather, my dad's dad, actually was a cop at one point in his life, uh, so, which is, so, you know, that's actually pretty cool. Um, but anyway, so, uh, you know, nice touch, I gotta say, I, I completely forgot about that until I saw that, so, because I was trying to figure out what the decal was there. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, solid paint scheme, um, you know, regardless, regardless of how you feel, as a die cast collector, do I recommend getting this car? Hell yeah, I do, because it's one of only three, currently, My Karma Racing die casts that we've ever got released, and again, the aforementioned Bailey Curry car is looking to be the fourth, so we'll see what happens there. But all things considered, thank y'all for watching, hope y'all enjoyed if you want to get diecast, you know, yourself, go over to Circle B Diecast. Use my code ANJJ for free shipping on orders of $20 or more. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.